All praise it to the Most High. It's always a blessing and a privilege to come out and bring out the word of the Most High, Yahweh. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to give all honor and glory because we are facing the east to Yahweh, Hashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. And that is the name of the only begotten son, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, the one that everybody calls Jesus. And the father, which is Yahweh, who, who he's getting ready to send his son to make the crooked way straight and the rough edges smooth. I want to say peace and salutations to all the elders out there and all the brothers bringing out this truth with sincerity. I'm going to start with Deuteronomy chapters 1 verse 17 through 18 and it reads, You shall not respect persons in judgment, but you shall hear the small as well as the great. So people are supposed to come and reason together and, and get issues resolved. You're not supposed to disregard what someone is trying to bring to the table. Let me read this again. It says, you shall not respect persons in judgment, but you shall hear the small as well as the great. You shall not be afraid of the face of a man. So that's why we're not, we don't fear no man. We're gonna come out here and do what the Lord said. He said to go out to the highways and to the hedges and as many as you find, bid to the marriage. For the judgment of Yahweh and the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me and I will hear it. So that's why we got to take it to the throne of grace. Anytime we want something done, we're taking it to the to Yahweh. We're taking it to him and his son, the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, the one that created the heavens and the earth. That's what we got to take it to. And I commanded you at that time all the things which you should do so we got to do these things that's what we're doing we're rehearsing the righteous acts jeremiah 48 verse 10 and it reads curse be the man salakia curse be he that doeth the work of the lord deceitfully and curse be he that keepeth back his sword for blood so if you're going to be bringing out this word you have to you have to bring it out as it is written you can't sugarcoat the words of Yahweh. You have to bring this word out the way it is written. Regardless if people don't like it. And it hurts and makes people offended. He said to preach the word and be instant in season and out of season. 1 Corinthians 15, 33-34. And it reads, be, be not deceived. So this, this is Apostle Paul. He said, evil communications corrupt good ma manners. So... That's why it says in uh, 1 Peter 4 and 11, if any man speak, let him speak with the oracles of Yahweh. If any man minister, let him minister with the ability that Yahweh gives. Verse 34 says, awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of Yahweh. I speak this to your shame. So the Most High, <laughs> this is his words. It was Apostle Paul uh, saying it at this time. But, but he said, what people should do in this society is awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of Yahweh. And then he says, I speak this to your shame. Why, why is he saying he's speaking this to people's shame? Because when you read in uh, Ephesians 5, he actually talks about that shame. He says, it is a shame to speak of those things that are done of them in secret. He says, it's a shame. The things people think they're hiding from the Most High Yahweh because they're actually not hiding a thing from him. But he says it's a shame to think of those things that are done of them in secret, but all things are made manifest by the light. That's how you doing. That's why he said he who makes manifest is light. That's talking about the, the, the Hamashiach. He is the light of the world. Just like he said in John 8 verse 12, he says, I am the light of the world. Anyone that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. That's why he said it's a shame to think of those things that are done of them in secret. They're thinking they're doing something in the dark where he doesn't see it, but he's omnipotent. He sees all and knows all. And nobody's going to get a pass for what they're doing here in this body. But, you know, you're going to have to be judged for everything you've done. Like Solomon said in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, you're going to be judged whether it's been good or whether it's been evil. So it doesn't matter. You're going to get judged according to your ways. And according to the fruit of your own doings. How you doing? Good. And it says, Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of Yahweh. 
I speak this to your shame. That's why he was saying it's a shame for them to, to speak of those things that are done of them in secret. Because they're not in secret. The Most High's eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. How you doing, sis? There, there, he sees everything. Nobody can get a pass for what they're doing here. So that's why we're coming out to make our calling an election sure. So that we get a chance to be covered by the by that blood. Because not everyone is going to be covered. Because he's, he, he's not a God that has pleasure in wickedness. And he said nobody that's evil is going to dwell with him. He said the foolish is not going to stand in his sight. He hates all the workers of iniquity. What is iniquity? The ones that continue sin on top of sin, on top of sin, lies stacked on top of lies, on top of lies. That's who he's talking about. And there's a lot of people practicing this. So guess what? Your day is coming. That's what the Lord is saying here. What am I reading? The King James Holy Bible, the 1611. That's what we're reading. So that, that's what everybody that's wicked has to look forward to. For that judgment coming from the Most High. Second Corinthians 12, verse 10. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches and necessities, in persecutions and distresses, for a Mashiach's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong? Because he's going to stay faithful to himself. So we're going to always, no matter, we're going to count it all joy. What we're going, you know, whatever the situation is, we know that it's the Lord that's in control anyway. So we're going to count it all joy. And we're going to continue to, to do what he says to do. Because that's what he said through Peter in Acts 5 and 29. He says we ought to obey, obey Yahweh rather than man. That's who we, gotta, we have to obey. So this is what he actually told us to do come out here and preach the word and be instant in season and out of season this is what he actually said but a lot of people they they don't like hearing the words they have a great disdain for the words of Yahweh they they abhor the words of, of Yahweh that's why he wrote it in here but guess what he's got everybody's number and he also has everybody covered and there is no creatures hidden from his sight like he said in Hebrews chapter 4 he sees everything that's going on as I speak He's watching. He's watching this place. His eyes is on, is on this simple kingdom. He's watching it. Job 17 verse 9. How you doing, sis? He says, The righteous also shall step hold on his way, and he that hath clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. So the ones that are that, that are doing what the, that's pleasing in the most high sight, he says they're going to get stronger and stronger because their hands are clean. Clean from what? From all this sin. Staying out of the mud and the mire. Doing the things that he said to do in the Holy Scriptures. That's having clean hands. Then, it, then Psalms 24, verse 3 through 6. This is the king of Israel, David. He said, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? And then he said, He that hath clean hands and a pure heart who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. So this is who's going to ascend to the holy mountain, and this is who's going to the hill of the Lord. He says, those that have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to vanity, or sworn deceitfully, not told no lies, which people are so accustomed to hearing here. It's nothing but lies stacked on top of lies. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God Yahweh of his salvation. This is the generation that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Salah. This is that generation, we're that generation that's seeking him. That's why he said in, in Baruch, since it was our mind to go astray from him, returning, he said, we need to seek him ten times more. And that's what we're doing. We're seeking the Most High ten times more. We're coming out and doing this work. Ten times more because he said to do it. Hebrews chapter 3, 13 to 15, and it reads, But exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. See, a lot of people, they, their, their hearts are hardened because they're in that mud and the mire. They're always stuck in sin. That's why they don't want to hear the words of Yahweh, because they're guilty. They're guilty of the sin. For we are made partakers of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. So we got to run this race with endurance to the end, looking unto Hamashiach Yahawashai, 
which is the author and finisher of our faith. This is what we have to do. This is what he said. This is his words. I know, man, they like to, they want to change the truth of Yahweh into a lie and want to worship and serve the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. That's what a lot of them want to do is worship the creature, which is man. Verse 15, it says, while, is it, while it is said today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation. So he said, you should, when you have a chance and an opportunity to hear this word, you shouldn't harden your heart and say, oh, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear the words. This is what a lot of people will say. Ecclesiasticus 34, verse 14 to 16, and it reads, Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. That's what we're going to put our hope in. We can't put our trust in no people here because all they do is lie and disappoint. All they're doing is, is doing that iniquity, sin stacked on top of sin, and lies stacked on top of lies on a daily basis. Can't put our trust in man. That's why he said they worship and serve the creature rather than the man who is, rather, rather than the one who is blessed forever. Amen. And that's talking about the anointed savior of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. That's who people, that's his name. He actually had a real name. It wasn't Jesus. He had a Hebrew name, Hamashiach Yehoshai. And a lot of people, they know this, but they want to continue on perpetuating the lies. And that's going to get a lot of people destroyed. That's why things are happening on a, a high level. And it's not going to, he's not going to stop until he accomplishes his mission. That's why he said in um, Isaiah 46, starting at 8, he declares the end from the beginning and from ancient days. The things that are not yet done, he says his counsel is going to stand and he's going to do all his pleasures. Everything he said in the Holy Scriptures, it's coming to pass whether people like it or not. So we're going to preach it. That's what he told the prophets to do, to go out to the highways and the hedges and as many as you find, bid them to the marriage. But a lot of people, they, they don't like this. They, they want to go with the lust of their flesh, the lust of their eyes and the pride of life. But that's not of the Father. That's of the world. And he said, this world is going to pass away. This is what he said. What am I reading? I'm reading the King James Holy Bible, the 1611. That's what I'm out here reading. It says, verse 15, Blessed is the soul of him that feareth the Lord, to whom doth he look, and who is his strength. Because we're going to always look and seek his face. That's what we're seeking, his face. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and a strong stay, a defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon, a preservation from stumbling and a help from falling. This is the good news for what you get for being obedient to Hamashiach Yahweh for doing what the Lord said. That's why Peter said we ought to obey Yahweh rather than man. We got to obey him, the one that created the heavens and the earth. That's who we have to obey. Job chapter 14, verse 4 and 5, and it reads, Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. So, I mean, the Lord is the one that did. He's the one that did. He does everything. He forms the light, and he creates the darkness. He makes peace, and he creates evil. He said, I, the Lord, I do all these things. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. See, a lot of people don't understand that they're only going to be here for so long. He's, a, he's appointed the bounds of the people for, they only have a, a certain amount of time here. That's what, that's what Job was saying. Let me read it again. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. That's what the Most High Yahweh said through, through the prophet Job. Isaiah 64, 6 through 9. But we are all as, a, as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as, as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Because this is what this for the wages of sin is death. That's why the people are constantly getting taken away, because they keep going contrary to the Holy Scriptures. And there is none that calleth upon the, thy name that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee. For thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast consumed us because of our iniquities. 
the iniquities, the sin stacked on top of sin and lies stacked on top of lies. He has a controversy with that. And that's why he's, got, he's always taking action in the world. He's going after his adversaries on a daily basis. But now, O oh Lord, thou art our father. We are the clay and thou art thou art potter. And we are all the work of thine hand. Be not wroth, very sore. So Isaiah was asking the Lord not to stay angry. He said to give us a break from your wrath. But the Lord is going to do what he wants. He's going to do what he wants. Because he's up in the heavens, is what it says in Psalm 17. And he does whatsoever he wills. It says, be not wroth, very sore, O Lord. Neither remember iniquity forever. Behold, see, we beseech thee. We are thy people. So Isaiah was pleading for the Lord to give us a break. That's what he was pleading for. Ecclesiasticus 17 and 25, and it reads, Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thou thy prayer before his face and offend less. So people should just stop with their, all this sinning. He said offend less. Psalms 119, 89 to 94, and it reads, Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth and it abideth. So that's who created the heavens and the earth. Yahweh did that. No man did this. Like they think they, they think they did something, but that's the most high Yahweh that did it. They continue this day according to thine ordinances for all are thy servants. So the, everything is working in its proper orbit. The, the moon is doing what it's supposed to do like he said and the stars and the constellations and the ocean is, is doing just like he told it just like he said from the foundation of the world it's going to continue to do what Yahweh told it to do unless thy law had been my delight I should then have perished in mine affliction I will never forget thy precepts for with them thou hast quickened me I am thine, save me, for I have sought thy precepts. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to seek his face. Deuteronomy 15, verse 10, and it reads, Thou shalt surely give him, and thine heart shall not be grieved. For thou givest unto him, because that for this thing the Lord thy God, Yahweh, shall bless thee in all thy works, and in all that thou puttest thine hand unto. That's the good news for being obedient to the Most High Yahweh. He's going to bless you in everything you do. Proverbs 11, 25 to 31, and it reads, The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that water shall be watered also himself. He that withholdeth corn, the people shall curse him, but blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. So this, the Lord, he's, he's in control. A lot of people think that they're doing something that the Most High Yahweh is not doing, but he's the one that's in control of, that, of this whole universe. Nobody's doing anything that he's not allowing because he said all the powers that be are ordained of Yahweh. They're all ordained of him. Nobody has anything that he didn't give them. He that diligently seek good procures favor, but he that seeketh mischief, it shall come unto him. So you're going to get, you're going to be judged according to your ways and according to the fruit of your own doings. This is what, this is how he laid it down from the foundation of the world. And it's not going to change because people don't like what, is, what this Bible says. It's not going to change. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. So see, that's why he said in Matthew, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and then loses his soul? That's not going to save, that money is not going to, he's got everybody in a trick bag. The money's not going to save nobody. If you're not walking in obedience, you're going to be destroyed here. That's what he's saying. But a lot of people just, they don't want to hear this. And they say, oh, well, who wrote that Bible? It was written by, with the finger of Yahweh. That's what it says in the scriptures. Written by the finger of Yahweh. He that troubles his own house shall inherit the wind. And the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart. Because a lot of people right now, they're being foolish. They're doing all these things that's contrary to the holy scriptures. So that's why he said, the fool has said in his heart, in Psalms 14, there is no God. And then they are, he says, they are corrupt. And they have done abominable works. 
So the Most High Yahweh has been looking down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that understood and seek Yahweh. But most people, they're not going to seek him. They're going to keep run, doing the imaginations of their own evil hearts and the lust of their flesh and the lust of their eyes and the pride of life. That's what most people are going to do. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that win his souls is wise. Now listen to that. He said the one that win his souls is wise. Behold, the righteous shall, re shall be recompensed in the earth much more than the wicked and the sinner. Because the sinners are going to perish off of this land. Romans chapter 2, verse 4 through 13. And it reads, Romans chapter 2, verse 4 through 13. For despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of Yahweh leaded thee to repentance. That's what people should be doing. They should re re be repenting for all these things they've done to offend the Most High Yahweh. But after thy hardness and impotent heart, treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation against the righteous judgment of Yahweh. So that's all people are doing. They're getting it. They're building up a case to the Most High, and he's and he's gonna take action. In other words, that's what Paul is saying here. Who will render to every man according to his deeds? To them who, by patient continuance and well doing, seek for glory and honor, and immortality and eternal life. That's what we're trying. That's what we're trying to get. We're trying to get to that eternal life because this is this place is temporal. This is getting ready to pass away. But being obedient to what the Most High said in the Holy Scriptures is going to lead you to immortality and eternal life. That's what the Scriptures actually says. But unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, he says you're going to get indignation and wrath. This wrath is coming upon all those that are disobedient. This is what what this is what are we reading? The King James Holy Bible. That's all we're reading. The 1611. So this is what the Lord said is coming upon this place. People that disobey his words. Tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, of the Jew first, and also of the Gentiles. So everybody's gonna get it. Everybody. He said judgment must begin at the house of, of God, of Yahweh. If judgment first begin at us, where is that going to leave the sinners and the unbelievers? He asked the question. If judgment first begin at us, where is that going to leave the sinners and the unbelievers? Well, you should know where it's, where it's going to leave you. That wrath is coming upon the sinners and the unbelievers. That's what it says. But Glory and honor and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile, for there is no respect of person with Yahweh. He doesn't care about your status. He doesn't care about money and stocks and bonds. He doesn't care about none of that. He just wants obedience rather than sacrifice. For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. So the ones that are that are keeping the laws and they're coming up short, they're going to get judged by not being obedient. And then the ones that don't know about his laws, he said, you should, you should have got to know about me. You should have picked up the Bible and read it. That's what he said. For, the, for not the hearers of the law are just before Yahweh, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Luke 12, 30 to 32, and it reads, For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that you have need of things. See, a lot of times people don't want to do it because they're wanting to chase the money, chase the riches, but the Lord said he knows all the things we need. But rather, seek ye, seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So this is the good news. He said, continue steadfast, unmovable, and continue running this race with endurance to get to that kingdom. I'm going to close out with after this Luke. Luke 6, 22 to 23, and it reads, Blessed are you when men shall hate you, 
and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast you out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Rejoice ye in the day, Shalaki in that day, and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. So if they're hating on, on us, that's because they did this to Hamashiach, Yehawashai, and they did it to all the prophets. So we're going to close out with Matthew. Matthew 26. Now when Hamashiach Yehawashai was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box, a very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when the disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Hamashiach Yehawashai understood it, he said, why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. 11. For you have the poor always with you, but me you, not have, you have not always. Verse 12. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. 13. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman hath done be told for a memorial of her. And with that, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutations to all the brothers out there bringing out this truth with sincerity. Shalom.